Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Today I would like to ask you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. Because the Lord wants you to be courageous to break every boundary that has been set by the people, the society, and yourself. When a rocket leaves the earth to the space, there is a gravitational force which tries to pull the rocket back. But the rocket has the capacity and the stamina to break every gravitational force and go up and breaking everything, go into the destination for which it's been sent. In the same way, when you try to break from something, get somewhere where the Lord is leading you. Everything in the world, every people around you will try to pull you back to the same place where you were so that you will never be successful. You cannot go up because nobody likes you going up. Everyone try to pull you back. But you say, no, I know my Redeemer liveth. So what you do, you push forward and you go up. And when you go up, the Lord says from there, look at this man, look at this my woman, look at my son, my daughter. He is doing everything against the things of the world and he is trying to push up and come up in life. And the Lord says, have favor on him, have mercy on him, have protection on him and protection on her. This happens only when you are ready to break every barriers, every challenges, every, every hurdles and every boundaries kept by the world and by people and even by yourself. When Jesus spoke to Nicodemus, Nicodemus said, Jesus, we know that you came from God. Jesus said, not about anything else, but he said, born again. Nicodemus. What he was saying, he was saying, Nicodemus, you have to break the boundary where you are. You have to born again. That means you are born somewhere. You are living somewhere. You have to leave that. You have to break that boundary and you have to born again. You have to do something again new. In the same way the Lord is asking you every day of your life, in every moment of your life, in every year, the Lord is asking us to do something brand new and that is called a born again experience. Yes, from condemnation into victory and joy, from sin into holiness, from condemnation by the world and by the devil into the salvation and acceptance of Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. But not only that, there are lots of things that you need to break, come out and come forth so that you will be victorious in the name of Jesus. When Lazarus was in the tomb, Jesus standing outside, Jesus said to Lazarus, Lazarus, come out. And the man which was, who was bound, who was dead, came out, breaking every barriers and boundaries. How did it happen? Because of the voice of the Lord. That same voice is speaking to you today. Are you ready to go up in life? Are you ready to achieve in life? Are you ready to do something no one has ever done in life? Then you need to fly high. You need to lift your head and see what the great thing the Lord is preparing for you. The Lord is stretching his hands towards you. He is calling you my son, my daughter. In a is enough. Get out of your comfort zone. Break every boundary that being set around you. This is your time to fly high. This is your time to get ready and do something mighty. Do not listen to the world, but listen to me, the your creator. Don't take the plans of the world because my plans are greater and higher than the plans of you and plans of the world. So I left you a hand and hold on to me and I I'm going to take you great places and make you a successful man of God, successful woman of God, a person who will be changing nations and transforming the life of people. If you want to do that, you need to break boundaries. You need to have the power in you, the courage in you, the strength in you, like a rocket going up. And then you will know you have done things that no one has done ever before. For that you need courage and that will break every gravitational force which pulls you back 
into who you were before and takes you up to the great destination that the Lord has for you. Are you ready for it? Then this is your time. Stretch your hand and say, Lord, I am ready. Here I am. As Samuel said, and Samuel became the greatest prophet, the greatest priest ever in the history of Israel. You too can do it. Only one thing you need to do. You need to say, here I am, Lord. I am ready to break anything said by me and by the world. I am ready to do what you are asking me to do. Get it done. And you will know that you are blessed and the Lord will be smiling at you. And you will also have a smile on your face. Thank you for tuning in. The Lord bless you. Shalom.